all you do is just move the line and then you, it's gonna add. If you wanna learn how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro, then you gotta learn how to trim. Trimming is one of the most essential things you gotta do when you're working on editing. And today I'm gonna show you five ways you can trim clips in Adobe Premiere Pro. And you can pick whichever you like most. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And also, if you find this video helpful and interesting, please give it a like. All right, without further ado, let's go get started. All right, so let's go get started. And as you can see, I already have three clips in Adobe Premiere Pro project, which is gonna go ahead and throw them on that timeline. And as you can see, we got three clips on the timeline right now. So let's go ahead and see if they have all the same settings. I'm just gonna make sure they, they're all in HD quality. I'm gonna be using these three clips to show you all five ways of trimming in Adobe Premiere Pro. But first of all, I'm gonna show you the most simple and easiest way. And maybe you're gonna even see yourself in this. Then this is probably gonna be the most obvious way to trim clips, but this is definitely not one of the most efficient ways. So the first thing you wanna do, you probably would take the razor blade and just go right, let's say right here, right here. And then you would pick the selection tool, click right here, press delete. Move this one right here, like this. And then, yes, you have done the edit, but this is really not the easiest edit you've done. And it probably took me like 10, 15 seconds to do just one single edit, which is not very, very fast. I'm just gonna go back and reverse it again. Maybe you're still using it and you think this is pretty decent. Well, if you like it, that's okay, but I'm going to show you that there is way better ways to edit and you can pick whichever you like. I do like most of them and I find them really work. They really work great. Okay. So let's start with the first one. The first one is called ripple edit tool. It's located in a tool panel over here. It has this sign with arrows going both ways. And it also has a shortcut letter B. So if I press B, it's automatically going to select this tool and what it does here, like, let's say, Let's first go ahead and watch these clips a little bit so we know what we're working with. So I got these ends here going on a piece of wood on the side of the building. Then I have this nice bee on the flower. And I also have a cat walking on the grass. So we have these three clips we're going to be working with. For example, if you would like to trim with a regular tool and you have this selection tool, when you use it, you would go ahead and just press it at the end here and then you can just trim it down. For example, you don't need to have so much footage of ants on the wall. So let's just go ahead and find the shot that we need and stop right here. So now we have trimmed this clip and made it shorter, but now we have a gap on the timeline and this is really bad because sometimes you may not even notice them. For example, if you go really small, if you have a long timeline and everything is so small, you may not even see this gap right here and you can just export it like this. And then you would have a just an empty spot on the timeline or in the movie, which is not good. Or if you notice, you would have to just ripple edit it afterwards. So it's taking too many steps, let's say it this way. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll back. So what the ripple edit tool does, when you select it here, if we go over here, you can see that this sign is actually became yellow. It's not red anymore. And if you press left mouse click and just move it, you can see that you find the same place where you want to kind of trim it. Let's say we're going to trim it over here and then we let it go. There we go. It trimmed it and it automatically closed the gap so that you don't have to do that in the second step. I find this is really works awesome because it saves you one more step that you have to do one more action. And when you have to do hundreds of those trims like this, this is really saves you a lot of time. And even if you're using the selection tool, if you go between these clips or between through edits, it works with both. If you press control, it automatically changes from red to yellow, which means that instead of having the trim selection tool, you're gonna have the ripple selection tool. Okay, let's try it out. So go this way, and then this time I'm gonna go this way. And for example, I wanna start I want to trim it when it starts to fly. Okay, there we go. So find the place where it starts to fly. Let it go. There we go. Right now you can see I have trimmed it and there is no gap left. So this is really great. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and see the next tool. It is called the Rollin Edit tool. And where is it located? Well, it's actually located in the same place as this Ripple Edit tool, but you just gotta have to press left mouse key. And then you can see there is a couple of them hiding in the same place. And this is the Rollin Edit tool, or you can just press N whenever you're on the timeline. And it's gonna choose the Rollin Edit tool. Okay, so you can see that it has a similar sign to the Ripple Edit tool, but it has two arrows going both ways. And it's actually pretty cool because what it allows you to do, for example, like let's say we are over here and we see this B starts to fly. Well, let's say we want to have, we want to trim this one here. Like let's say over here. So when you see this kind of, the camera starts going out of focus, I wanna, for example, trim it over here because it's not really very sharp. So let's go ahead and trim it up, up to here, there. There we go. So if I place the mouse pointer right where these two clips connect and I pull it to the left, you can see that it automatically adds footage to the right and it trims the footage to the left. So let's go ahead and see that like this. Okay, there we go. It basically moves the line between two clips, editing to the one that's on the right and, and trimming the one that's on the left. It's really handy when you wanna trim two clips at the same time, but you wanna live the same length of your film. Let's say you have a film that's gotta be one minute and then you already have all the footages on, this, on the timeline and you cannot make it smaller or bigger. It has to be one minute Instead of trimming it and adding extra parts, all you do is just move the line and then you, it's gonna add, and then it's gonna add more of one clip and trim more of the other clip. So that's how it works. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and move to the next one. The next tool is called Slip Tool. It is a trim tool, but it doesn't really trim the length of the clip. It's actually just rotating the content inside each clip. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out here. So as we can see, so for example, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this clip to make it much shorter, right? Oh, let's do this one with the cat actually. So it's real more obvious, okay? So as we can see, the cat starts walking here, then it goes here, then it goes and lay down on the grass. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna trim this clip down so it's way smaller. Let's say we need to have this timeline to be 30 seconds and no more, okay? So we'll go 30. So let's say we gotta get the timeline 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna trim this clip over here. Right now we see the cat start walking, but for example, if I wanna have the footage where the cat start laying on the ground instead of walking. So how would I do that? Well, of course you can go ahead and open it in the source monitor, find the place that you need, put the mark in, mark out, and then replace this clip on the timeline. But it's actually a lot more steps to do and it takes more, much more time. Instead of that, what we can do, we can just use a slip tool. And the slip tool has a shortcut key Y so I can just choose that. And what it does, it's actually slipping the content inside the file. And what I mean by that, if you grab it inside the clip here, you can see when it moves, you have two windows right here. The window on the left is showing what's actually in the clip right now. And the window on the right is gonna be showing what will be in the clip. So I wanted to put when the cat starts laying down. So let's go ahead and find that moment. Okay, there we go, so beautiful. Let's just do it like this right here. So, okay, now let's go ahead and check it out right now. There we go. So this is it. It basically spin the content inside the clip, which is real handy. So this is the third method, how to edit, not counting the first one when you have to use the razor blade, but this is actual trimming method number three. Let's go ahead and check out another method. It's called the slide tool and it's also interesting and it's also located in the tool panel if you long press the left mouse key. And you can see the slide tool has a shortcut U. And what the slide tool does, it's actually pretty interesting. When you just start, it may not be easy to remember, but the more you do it, the you will remember how they all work. So let's go ahead and increase the length of this clip right here. And actually you see like it doesn't let me increase anymore because this is the end of the file. But if I press control, 
then I can go ahead and do it as much as I want. So for example, I find that, well, this clip here, uh, maybe I wanna move it a little bit to somewhere else. But I want to keep the same length of the of the timeline as well. I don't want to make it bigger or smaller. I just want to move this clip somewhere else. If you wouldn't use that tool, it would be really complicated. But when you're using the slide tool, it's actually pretty easy. So what it does, it's actually when you grab the clip right here and you move it. There we go. So it's actually extended the clip before on the left and it trimmed the clip on the right. This is a really, really handy tool. I like how it works. It's not used as often, but it's really handy if you need to do it because it saves you, it saves you a lot of time. And the last trimming method, you might have guessed, it's actually the one that we have used already, but I didn't specify it as one of the methods. And it is called the selection tool trim. So basically, when you, when you have a selection tool, if you wanna trim, for example, the end of the clip, you can see that this uh, bracket appears here in its red in color. Unlike the ripple edit tool, it's yellow. This one is red. And when you pull it with this tool, it trims the clip or you can extend it the same way. But if you do it in the middle of the timeline or between the clips or between the through edits, then it's gonna leave the gap where the clip has moved, which like I said, it's, it's not the best way to do it, but sometimes it's handy. And uh, I'm gonna show you when it could be handy. So let's go ahead and delete this. For example, if you put just the video over top here, let's say we go like this, and then you have this cat over here, and then you have the bee starts to fly. Well, for example, I wanna extend this cat laying down all the way to the, till the bee starts to fly. In this case, I can use this selection edit trim and just extend it over here. It does work great when you need to edit, for example, an overlay clip, or if you need to edit the last clip on the timeline. So it basically you don't need to get you don't need to use the ripple edit tool for this case. Or for example, if you need to edit just video or audio, let's say you just choose the audio clip, then you can just trim the audio, and then you can also use the selection edit tool. So this is basically the cases where you want to use it but of course you can use it on any occasion but you would have to ripple delete all the gaps that it creates so this is it guys i hope you like it and you find this video helpful these were the five ways of trimming in adobe premiere pro 2020 and i think they're going to improve your workflow a lot so if you like this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to the channel for more videos click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and if you have any comments or questions, leave in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Also, let me know in the comment section below what other videos you want me to make. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.